Let's try factoring these quadratic equations using Bergman technique. This first equation is y equals x squared minus 8x minus 20. What I'm trying to do, and the reason I call it Bergman technique, is to help you remember the MAN. I'm trying to find what multiplies to negative 20. That M value comes from right here, the C value of the equation. And what adds to negative 8. I get that value from right here, the coefficient on the x, that is, the b value, what's in front of this x term. So I need two numbers that multiply to negative 20, but also add to negative 8. I know that 1 times 20 would make 20, and so would 2 times 10. 3 wouldn't work, but 4 and 5 would. A lot of possibilities here with pluses and minuses, except when I look back at this m, I realize it's got to be a positive and a negative. I need one plus and one minus in order to multiply to a negative number. How about plus one and negative 20? Well, those will definitely multiply to negative 20, but there's no way they're going to add to negative 8. All right. How about negative 2 and plus 10? Negative 2 times positive 10, yeah, it gives negative 20, but when I add them, I get positive 8. And I realize all I have to do is flip the signs. If this were the plus and this were the minus, plus 2 times negative 10 is negative 20, plus 2 minus 10 is negative 8. I've got my numbers, positive 2 and negative 10. So I factored this trinomial successfully. I just write it as a set of brackets, x plus 2, x minus 10. And I'm done. Except I'll do a second example here. y equals 2x squared minus 26x plus 60. The first thing I notice right away is I have a GCF, a greatest common factor. That is, there is a 2 that I can divide all three terms by. I'm going to take 2 and divide it out of 2x squared, leaving x squared. I'm going to take negative 26 and also divide it by 2 which gives me negative 13x. And I'm going to take 60, also divide it by 2, and I get plus 30. I'm going to leave that 2 out in front. It's not going to be part of the solution. I'm looking for two numbers, just like before. I'm just looking at that x squared minus 13x plus 30, and asking myself, like before, what multiplies to that last number, that constant term 30, and adds to the coefficient in front of the x, negative 13. Well, 1 and 30 might work, and 2, 15 might work, 3 and 10 might work, 4, 4 doesn't go into 30, but 5 and 6 could work. Checking my negative and positive signs, though, I see I have to multiply to something positive, but add to something negative. The only way that could work is if you had two negatives. They'd all have to be negative, so that when you multiply them, Two negatives multiply to make a positive, but two negatives would add to make a negative. And now I just need to check my numbers. Negative 1 times negative 30 works for multiply, but adds to negative 31. That's no good. Negative 2 times negative 15 multiplies to 30, but it adds to negative 17. That's no good. Negative 3 and negative 10 multiply to 30, oh, and they add to negative 13. Those are my numbers. So I write x minus 3 and x minus 10.